Alexis is going to send our, our project. I just want to show you your reflections, cover letter, that portfolio, my reflections. Can you guys do a little like this? Look. Yay! The moment of submission was um, very dramatic in here. They were really loud and it kind of hurt my ears, but it was fine. I've never done anything like this, so it was a good experience for me. I felt really nervous too, because I was like, what if we win, what if we don't win? I hope the judges see the rigor that is incorporated in the project and kind of a holistic approach. All the math, the language arts, the science involved. I feel like the students have won in my eyes. Um, and I don't want to compare them to other students throughout the state, but I'm just very satisfied in what they have received from it. If I don't win the competition, I am gonna be a little disappointed that we didn't win, but at the same time, I know that everybody tried their best and that's all anybody wanted. If we don't win, I guess I'll feel disappointed, but also happy because we did all of this. It was a great experience. I made good friendships, even better ones than I had before with my friends doing this H2O competition. It was really fun making the project. It was really fun like learning new experiences and going different places and trying to help them. Something that they can be proud of and a lot of self-esteem I, I kind of saw just watching themselves in here and wow, we are working hard, we are learning. Because sometimes like when you're in it, when you're learning and you're in it, you don't know you're learning, but then when you go home and you start talking to the people in your family, you're like, oh yeah, I totally learned a lot today. Yeah. <laughs>house hanging out talking to you very grateful to have uh, the ability to video chat because that has certainly been a lifesaver since we last saw you uh for the final submission we were lucky enough to hold the judging right before the coronavirus started to impact our lives and we had a panel of expert judges who reviewed submissions from across california and they had such a hard time narrowing down to the top five because there were such fantastic submissions this year and the quality was outstanding so given the fact that schools across california will likely remain closed for the rest of the academic year. Um, we'll be virtually announcing the winners later in April. So, with all that said, how are you doing? Um, yeah, this is our new normal. Um, this is strange. It feels uncomfortable. It, it feels um, stressful and worrisome. We didn't know what kids are, what their daily life looks like at home. So there was like, how should we put together this online school? It's kind of, oh my gosh, I'm gonna cry, I'm sorry. Um, we had a Google Meet um, a couple of days ago and there was a little girl, she had a baby on her on her hip. And um, so then I was like, okay, we gotta, <laughs> we gotta figure out what kids' responsibilities are and just kind of make it, nothing is, you have to do it. Just like, okay, th this is one option. Um, this is another option. Because kids, they, they want to learn. Like, we are seeing that, that they're desperate to learn. But we don't, and we want to offer something, but we don't want to make it a more stressful situation for them. Among all of this and all the anxiety and just the challenges, are there some interesting and surprising bright spots that have come out of this? I think that kids now realize that this that going to school is important. It's not just something that I have to do. Another bright spot I think is as teachers, we're, we're learning how to be innovative um, to and, and incorporating instruction in a in a new way. You want to create lessons that you could sell tickets to. If would kids come to your class even if they didn't have to. I hope something that comes out of this is that throughout the whole country, we see that schools are, are their important place of learning, but there's so much more. Um, in our school district, and in fact, the whole county, we're giving out food. We've given out um, 
devices and Wi-Fi capabilities for families. So there's all these um, kind of like institutional uh, struggles and in, in, in equ inequalities, but right now schools are kind of um, the ones that are trying to accommodate them. Oh gosh, Nicole. Well, you know, I, I can't thank you enough for your willingness to be so open about this because I know it's hard and it's just, it's hard to talk about and it's hard to be open about it, but I feel like the more people that are willing to just sort of show how hard this is and be okay with not holding back, it'll hopefully help inspire other people to feel less crazy during this time. Thank you so much and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you soon. Bye, thank you.